So part two of this, you know, we talked about the good knives. Next step is talk about the knives that I would leave in my drawer. These knives stay on a knife block, or they, they stay on a magnetic knife strip on the wall. That's what you're hearing. But these guys are the ones we'd actually use almost more often. Not that. Not this guy, that's a butter knife. Let's, let's separate these bad boys here. Even though I love the good knives that we have on the wall, these are the ones we actually use more often than anything else. These stay in the silverware drawer, and I used to use the Hinkle's International brand, but they actually dull more quickly, the blades are a little thicker, and I don't like the handles as much. Strange. I don't even know why I don't like the handles, but... I switched using Victorinox, which is going to be a restaurant brand anyway. This is what you would have in a restaurant supply company anyway. And these are sharper, they have thinner blades, scary to use. Uh, They're super sharp. Super sharp. Super, super sharp. Everybody has cut their hands on these guys. But I have a couple different types, so we have serrated of the Hinkle International version versus the Victorinox, which I would use these hands down. And then you can have different lengths of these. So this is, I think, the four, four and a half inch serration. I think it goes up to six inch. And then you're gonna have two different types of these where they have knives where it does not have the curve on it. It, it will just be straight out. And then my personal favorite is the bird's beak. If you're gonna have any knife to leave in your drawer, you need to have a bunch of these. This is the perfect knife for cutting open, or like cutting up an apple or a pear or taking the peel off of an orange and things like that. I use this. All the time. Peeling potatoes, all of that. I do not use a peeler most of the time. I would use, I use this guy. Yeah. <laughs> because you're looking at, you know, for this kind of thing, that uh, using this style of knife is, if you're classically French trained, you could uh, tourner, you know, a vegetable. Oh, to get the to get oh dear <laughs> did you just oh dear I did because who does who this I, guy I don't. this guy you does do. I don't I use a peeler and you don't even care that the potatoes are delightful octagonal no I'm sorry I think that to be five sides or seven sides officially. I have no idea what we're talking about there's a method there is a method for French preparation of oh. like a potato oh, goodness. where it actually is I think it's it's five or seven sided mm -hmm. and if you watch a French, like an old French chef do it, it's, they're badasses. Just complete badasses of just like this muscle memory of cutting a potato open. Now, if somebody didn't want to buy an expensive knife and grew up in a house like I did where all we had was steak knives for everything, this is a nice cheap option. These, Get these. These knives. Yeah, do Those, not, that do not, do not buy any knives <laughs> from Target, Macy's, just, just don't. Scrap it. Just stop. There's no point. Don't do it. No point. Go to, you can even order these online. So Amazon sells these. Restaurant supply companies online sells these. If you go to one in person, <clears throat> you can buy these. Way the f better than anything, any garbage you're going to buy. I'm sorry. Your knives are garbage. I don't, let's not leave that in there. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say, I'm not, I'm not, it's just any celebrity it's, chef we, stuff. We just, implicitly people will figure it out. Yeah. Okay. If you are, yeah, Kohl's is the worst defender of this. Because <laughs> the Food Network sponsors everything, and I'm sorry, those things are garbage. Okay. Oh. Garbage. Okay, we can move on. Okay. So this is the BG, keeping it square, along with special guests. The sweets. Alright, we'll see you next month, and we're going to talk about cutting boards. I mean... How much can we really say about cutting boards? Well, enough that it warrants the whole video. Keep your eyes open also for upcoming videos on mixing bowls and strainers. Subscribe to us, check out our website where you can find downloadable recipes, and we'll see you next time on Our Final Freezer. Part two of this. We can even do two videos. Yeah. I know. Of course we could. We could. We could make Sweet videos. loves we could all fun. kinds of videos from this. Oh. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. What what is on there?